This is the Nimco joystick that's used on a lot of different tractors with attachments that are added to those tractors, such as the Quaker front end loader, Wessendorf uses it, Elmo Moores, and then there's just various other attachments that are added on to tractors that use this joystick. What happens is the cables, the tips of the cables up inside the base, and then also there's a triangular joint and a pin inside the base that go bad over time and often need to be switched out. So what this video is going to do is show how to switch out the cables and those internal pieces. And then just to make sure that you've got the same joystick that we're talking about in this video, it has the name Nimco stamped on the base of it. And then it also has the name Nimco on the handle right there. Remove the rubber boot. This is the pivot pin. That's the tip of a cable. And this is the tip of a, the other cable. Remove this screw using a five millimeter Allen wrench. This will release the pivot pin. Loosen the stop screw with a four millimeter Allen wrench. This will release the cable. Now with the cables loosened and the pivot pin released, pull everything up out of the housing of the joystick. The tips of the cables pull out of the joint very easily. Pull the pivot pin out of the base. This takes a little bit more effort than pulling the joystick tips out. Now that we have the joystick completely taken apart, We'll set aside the old pieces that we're switching out and then gather together the new pieces that we're going to be putting in. You've got the triangle joint, which is what everything pivots upon. The joint ball pin. And then the cables. And these cables come typically twisted together work the ball of the pivot pin into the joint. It doesn't slide in terribly easily. Make sure the lockout tab is pulled all the way out and then slide the cables up through the housing. Slide the cable tips into the notches in the joint. Now push the assembly down into the base of the joystick. Lock the cables by tightening the stop screws. are anchored well. Now it's time to anchor the pivot pin with the screw. And the final step is just sliding the rubber boot down.